Welcome to section two of our Facebook remarketing video training. In this section, we will talk about the customer file, website traffic, app activity, and engagement on Facebook. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. The customer file. Before taking advantage of the remarketing power Facebook offers you with custom audiences, there are four things you need to have ready. If you don't have them, it will be impossible for you to set up a custom audience. Those four things you need to have and already giving you positive results are a customer file, a traffic getting website, an active working app, and live socially active Facebook content. Let's start with the customer file. What is a customer file? A customer file or a customer list is simply a list of email addresses with which you'll create a Facebook custom audience. This feature is really amazing because you can create an audience made up of clients you already have targeted before going online or even into Facebook. You can target them again with Facebook ads remarketing. To do this, you'll first need to create that list of email addresses. If you don't have it, I'll explain how you'll do that. How do you create a customer file? There are four easy steps you need to follow for creating your own list of subscribers so you are able to create a remarketing campaign with them inside Facebook. Step 1. Set up your autoresponder service. The first thing you need to do is set up your autoresponder service. An autoresponder is a service used to capture email addresses and sends emails to them with various purposes, usually for marketing purposes. If you don't have one yet, there are amazing options to choose from. You could take a look at AWeber, MailChimp, GetResponse, Infusionsoft, etc. All these have amazing plans from which you can choose. MailChimp is a pretty special one because Facebook lets you sync your email addresses there and create your custom audience automatically. Step 2. Create your lead magnet. A lead magnet is a special, free offer you make in exchange for email addresses. With an attractive lead magnet, you'll accelerate your email list building. A lead magnet can be a report, PDF, free trials, software access, etc. With this, you can build a list by offering free stuff. Then, you can simply sell a paid version of your lead magnet by using your autoresponder service through email. Then, set up a Facebook remarketing campaign to advertise that paid offer, so you can remarket to those subscribers and increase their buyer propensity. Step 3. Create your landing page. Now, you need a landing page for the opt-in form that your autoresponder service will provide you, and also the lead magnet you have prepared. According to Wikipedia, in online marketing, a landing page, sometimes known as a lead capture page or a lander, is a single web page that appears in response to clicking on a search engine optimized search result or an online advertisement. If you Google landing page builders, you'll find all kinds of awesome services, so you can easily set up your landing page. Among the easiest to use are instapage.com, landinggi.com, and landerapp.com. Something awesome about using online landing page builders is that they offer integration functionality. It means you can integrate your autoresponder of choice, so you don't have to mess around with the opt-in code, which sometimes can be complicated. If you still think it's too complicated to get your landing page done quickly, you can always outsource it. Fiverr.com is an amazing service where you can get top quality services for a shockingly low price. You just need to search through the top sellers and chat with them to set a deal. Step 4. Send traffic to your landing page. Finally, to get email subscribers to build up your customer file, you need to send traffic to your landing page. There are all kinds of traffic strategies online. You can simply Google free traffic strategies as well as paid traffic strategies. Among the most effective ones are the following. For free traffic strategies, there is article posting, forum commenting, video uploading, SEO, and social media. For paid traffic strategies, we find there is PPC on social sites such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and YouTube. PPC on other websites such as Google AdWords, Bing, and 7Search. Paid mobile traffic, SEO services, and video advertising services.